Hey guys, welcome back to round three of my career mode. And this game, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little different. I'm, I'm not gonna commentate the game as much. Honestly, I wanna talk a bit about the new Rugby League Live game coming out. I wanna talk about what I hope for it, what I wanna see, improvements, that sort of thing. And I can ramble a fair bit, so I'm probably gonna split these up into categories. Um, so yeah, the first thing I wanted to talk about was like, gameplay features, gameplay modes, that sort of thing. Now, the one thing, so we'll get the first one out of the way quickly, and that's online mode. So obviously, they've announced that there's going to be like region lock, well not region lock, but you get to search, you can search for people locally to you. So, that's obviously a good thing, um, but I would also like... A way of knowing what exactly, like how much your ping is, or latency, whatever you want to call it, before you actually play the game or agree to play the game, because the worst thing about playing online is the lag, obviously, you know, you don't want to rage quit, you don't want to disconnect, but if it's too laggy, then there's really nothing you can do about it, so that needs to be a feature. Also. What else did they announce? They announced that there's going to be online tournaments. Um, which, honestly, it sounds pretty cool. Like, that was sort of an idea I was thinking of. Like, have some sort of, you know, in like, um, a Diablo type game, there's like, um, races or season modes. That's what they could do with the tournaments. Like, have like a one month tournament, right? And, I don't know how it'd work, but you'd have like, set times where one team plays another and you, you have to be on at that time or else, I don't know, I guess you forfeit the game, so it could it could be a help to other players, or it could just be like uh, you play a certain amount of games against people in the same tournament, so the more games you play, the more games you win, the, the more points you get overall, and then like after a month, I don't know, it's like a like a semi-final, a final, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, they could do a few things with that, but online mode, I'm not, it's not the most important thing to me, honestly, so... We'll get straight on to the next. We'll get on to the, the big thing they announced actually for game modes, and that is be a pro. Be a pro, and I am just super hyped for that. I, that right there, I was obviously going to get the game anyway, but that right there has sold it to me. Like that right there, if I was on the fence, having a be a pro mode is like push me over the fence right there. Like that's, that's awesome. And. I was sort of a little worried because I didn't know how they would do it, but I just remembered that Big Ant are the same people that developed Don Bradman's Cricket, and they have the Be A Pro mode in Cricket, and they've done an excellent job with that. Like most, I haven't played Don Bradman's Cricket, I've seen a lot of gameplay footage actually, but I don't know, I never picked the game up. I'm probably going to, it looks actually really good now, but I've seen gameplay and i heard people talk about either my, my play or Be A Pro. And all I've heard is like good praise for it. Like it's it's excellent. You start off um, in the lower grades or whatever, and in the rugby league, you're gonna start off in the other twenties. And you know, hopefully, I, I'm hoping it works. So you know, you get you get contracts pretty low to start with. You know, you get to, you might get to choose or you might not, depending how you play. I hope it is, it's not like, oh, you get to choose the exact club you want and you're just straight into Origin, straight into Australia or straight into whatever country you want to play for. I hope it is like a, I hope it's a long haul. I hope it's a long haul from the bottom to the top, honestly. I don't want to be, it's something that I can see myself like making, making like a winger, making a halfback, making a forward, just going through like all the different positions and seeing how they feel. Because I... Like, John Bradman's cricket, right? Like, cricket... As long as you're actually doing something, if your player's doing something, yeah, that's fun, but... The other 90% of the time, you're in the field, especially like a test match or a four-day four day match. So... But they've done an excellent job with the cricket style, so I just feel like... Like, rugby league is a perfect candidate for controlling one player, because... Any player, as long as you're on the field, is always in the game, you know? 
Even if you're just a winger on the sideline, you come in for dummy half runs, you always have to be ready in defense for kicks. I mean, I can't wait to see how they play it. I'm also interested to see how the camera will work. Um, because, you know, it's going to be hard to see sometimes where the ball is, but I'm hoping they get all that figured out. So yeah, that's the that's probably the number one thing I'm hyped about, because that's like, honestly, yeah, they haven't released too much info about the game, like no videos, no gameplay. I mean, the screenshots were really early, like I think they were saying that alpha footage, so there's really not much to go off from the um the really early screenshot that they released. It's nothing to take away. It was sort of just announcing this is the game. But yeah, I sort of want to see gameplay of how, how it'll work and how Be a Pro will work, so... The other major game mode that obviously obviously is going to be in the game is career mode, franchise mode, whatever you want to call it. And everything I say here, like, I haven't played Rugby League Live 2 in so long. It's probably... It's been well over a year. I don't remember how in-depth it was. I'm sort of thinking it wasn't that in-depth from what I've heard from people that they wanted the next game that obviously it wasn't that amazing. Um, so, so you know, if I say anything that was in Rugby League Live 2, well, obviously I just want it in the next game as well. But what I want them to do, and it's a good example of this game right here, Rugby League 3 on the Wii, made in 2009. Like, I like the way the trading system works. You can choose all these uncontracted players to just start for you immediately. You can go through the other teams to see what players they have off contract next year and sign them. Um, but what I want the next game to do is have the affiliate teams. So at the least have the under 20s. So we're going to use Broncos as an example. I feel like all the under 20 players, you know, they're obviously contracted to the under 20s team. I'm not exactly sure how it works in uh, the real, real life game. You know how they get paid per NRL match if they're just like a match, a match wage or a match bonus, because obviously the the Broncos NRL side doesn't like contract these under twenty players whenever they want a game or whenever they promote them. Um, so I think Big Ant doesn't need to make it that complex. Like I, I've heard a few suggestions, like oh, you could have like a separate a separate sort of uh, salary for these under 20s that you could um, pay when they want to when you want to sign them away from the NRL but I feel like it can be simpler than that honestly all that has to be is you have your NRL squad the top 25 top 30 whatever it is and then all the under 20 players all of them are are, are like contracted right so you can like promote them whenever you feel they're ready or if you got a favorite player in the under 20s you can play him you don't have to like you don't have to put him on a contract or anything he's already getting like the he's already on the contract for the under 20s that's how it works in the game for me but the catch is when they obviously that that only works when they're under 20 years old when they're eligible for the under 20s as soon as they get past 20 years old and as soon as they're you know out of the under 20s then they're pretty much on off contract players and they can be signed by any other team. However, if it's the Broncos under 20s, then Broncos get first dibs. So you get like an email notification that so and so players are are gonna be out of the youth comp next year. So if you want to secure them now, make them an offer, or if not, then they'll go play in the Queensland Cup or another team will sign them. And That'll obviously work for other teams, so if you're keeping an eye on a, a Penrith under-20 player and the Penrith Panthers don't sign him up when he gets out of under-20s, then you can go ahead and sign him for the next year, next couple of years. So that's how I think it should work, you know, at the least. Um, I'd also like to see, like, the Queensland Cup and New South Wales affiliates work in the same sort of way. Um... But it would be a little different because they're, you know, some of them are ex NRL players and, you know, probably any club can sign them if they want. So I feel like it could be the same. I feel like it could work the same way as the under 20s suggestion I had. 
So your affiliate hub, so Brisbane, Redcliffe, um, you can get like any of those players. Um, but in that case, at any time, any other NRL club, so Penrith could like poach a Queensland Cup player. And maybe again, because they're your affiliate club, you can get first dibs. So if someone, if Penrith offers uh, a Queensland Cup player a contract for so many years on so much money, you get that email saying, they've offered me this much, are you going to make me an offer? And you get to, you get to make an offer, and if they, they can obviously accept or decline it, if they want to move or if they want to stay, so... I think that would just add more depth, it would add more customization to franchise mode. Um, it would make you, it would allow you to make the team you really want. Pretty much. Not much else to say about that, like, I would love to see it. I don't, I'm not, I don't think Rugby League Live 2 had that sort of thing. I'm not exactly sure how the franchise mode worked, but I would like to see it. And they don't have to make it complicated. They could make it that simple. You know? And the other thing with, like, signing players, I would like to see them add, like, a bit more... a bit more depth to it, just for the fact that just because you offer this player a bit more than the team they're currently at, they're not necessarily going to sign with your club, you know? Because in real life, people don't like leaving their club. You know, if their if their team, the Broncos, offer them slightly less, um, a lot of times they stay with like a team with the Broncos or like South, whatever team it is, because because they have loyalties there, they have loyalties there, and they enjoy the club. So a lot of a lot of players like I would like to see that, you know, and it could work vice versa if like a a player is from New South Wales, and he gets like an offer from another club, he just he pretty much just accepts it. He doesn't take any offer from you. He's like, I want to move back home, this and that. I think it would just be a cool addition. Um, I've got plenty more to talk about franchise mode. This game is almost wrapping up, so I'll probably talk about that in the next round. i got a bit more to talk about anyway, so... We'll finish off this game as Milford gets it away. Yeah, I am still playing a game here. <laughs> just been rambling about franchise mode, but yeah. I've got a lot of talks about a lot to talk about what I want out of Rugby League Live 3. Um, a lot of it, I'm sure, won't be in the game, but it's just some ideas for future, and it's just it's just to get the hype going, really. I'm, I'm hyped for the game, but we haven't seen anything, anything out of it yet. I'm really just keen to see some trailers, some gameplay. <laughs> but the Warriors are down the sideline. Brent Tate. I think Brent, Brent Tate's had a good game this game. He's sort of torn me to bits, but... And old Gave's, old Gave did two high tackles and he's been sent off. I didn't say that when it happened, but yeah, he, he got sent off. So I, <laughs> I'm expecting a lengthy suspension. Usually that's what happens. So let's see if we can get a try to finish this off. Milford down this. Milford's away. Milford's a gun in this game. And he kicks it out. Terrible, terrible play by me. But that'll wrap the game up. Another solid victory by the boys. Milford Hunt and Hunt get tries. We had... It was pretty even possession. But yeah, we're going good in this. We're going good in this franchise mode. Gave is probably going to be out for a while because that's how this game goes. And we will see. There we go. There's this... There's the big hammer coming down. Four matches. Yeah, I, I can take that. He did two two high shots. Yeah, four matches is warranted, but yeah. 